Hi, Pastor Ron Taylor here again from Arise Christian Center, just to encourage you for this week. We have just celebrated an awesome day, Easter, the resurrection of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And I think about it. He did it all just for me as well as for you. When I think about that, my heart fills with love, with hope, with faith. And I thank him for what he has done for us. But I also, in my devotion last night, I was reading from the book of Acts chapter 1. And I read something that the Spirit of God really began to minister to my heart about. And it says in Acts 1 and verse 3, it said that he remained upon the earth 40 days after his resurrection. And as I began to ponder on that and think about that, I thought, why would he remain upon the earth 40 more days after he had just suffered death, the crucifixion, hell and the grave? You know, we would love to get out of here if we had went through what he suffered and what he did. We would couldn't wait to get back home or to get back, you know, to our place where we felt safety. But Jesus remained 40 days post-resurrection after he had suffered the cross. After he had went through all that he went through, he still remained upon the earth. 40 more days and as I thought about it the Spirit of the Lord began to minister to my heart and he began to reveal to me and show me why Jesus remained 40 days after he had went through and suffered what he did why didn't he just ascend back to heaven right after he had risen from the grave but he had purpose and it was reason why he didn't go back to heaven. He remained 40 days. And he began, the Spirit of God began to reveal to me that he remained 40 days for three reasons I'm going to share with you. One of the reasons why he remained 40 days was because he wanted to prove that he had truly risen from the dead. The Bible tells us in 1 Corinthians chapter 15, in verse 6, it says that there were over 500 witnesses that saw him post-resurrection. And it was all at the same time. So he wanted to prove to his followers, to his disciples, that truly he had risen from the dead, as he said he would. And so one of the reasons why was to prove that he had truly risen from the dead, that he was no longer in the grave. The second reason, which is more important than the first, is that during that time, all of Jesus' disciples, all of his followers, they were in hiding. They were hiding out. They were afraid of the Jews because of how Jesus had been crucified and how they had put him to death and how they hung him on the cross and how they beat him. And, and so they were in hiding and they were thinking that we thought he was the one. They had forgot about all the things that Jesus had spoken to them about how he would be put to death and on the third day he would rise from the dead. And so Jesus showed up. Why? Because he wanted to release his followers, his disciples from that paralyzing fear. He wanted to revive their hope and their faith that just as he said it, that is the way it happened. And so he stayed around 40 days and he revealed himself to his disciples, not once, not twice, but on three separate occasions he revealed himself to his disciples. He revealed himself personally to Peter to revive Peter because Peter had denied him three times. And so he stayed around those 40 days to rid their fears, to revive their hope, to revive their faith that he truly 
was the Messiah, the Son of God. The one who had came to set the captives free and everything that he had spoken to them. He was verifying it by remaining 40 days post-resurrection that they may know truly their Savior and their Lord lives. The third reason, as Acts 1 and 3 tells us, he spoke to them pertaining things to the kingdom of God. After Jesus was around 40 days, and after he had shown himself to his followers and to his disciples, they began to get a holy boldness. They, their faith was revived. Their hope came alive again. And they were so convinced that their Lord was alive. They saw him as he ascended back to heaven. And they were so full of boldness that nothing could dissuade them from carrying forth the gospel to the ends of the earth. And so they didn't mind by laying their lives down. Fear had no more grip or no more hold on them. They were free. And they were free because Jesus revealed himself to them as being alive. He allowed them to touch the nail prints in his hands and in his side. He allowed them to see. He sat down with them and had breakfast by the sea. And that stirred up a faith that could not be deterred. And even when they were whipped and even when they were threatened and even when they were beaten. They continued to carry forth the gospel of Jesus Christ. It was all because he revealed himself to them in those 40 days post-resurrection. They knew that their Lord, their Master, their Savior lived. And it was nothing that anyone could say or do that would keep them from speaking what thus saith the Lord. And I say to you today, no matter what fears are trying to grip you, you need to know that your Lord lives. That Jesus lives. And He's alive. And He's with you. And He'll never leave you nor forsake you. So no matter what is going on around us, be convinced today as the disciples were that he lives. You know he lives because of the things that he's already done in your life. Fear has no place. Only faith and hope because he lives. And just like he proved he lived, to his disciples and to his followers in that day he's proving to us that out of all the danger that are all of the things that are going on around us day in and day out he's there holding you he's there keeping you why because he lives and fear has no place keep the faith your Savior, your Lord, your Redeemer, He lives.